Good morning, sir. Good morning, all of you. My name is Ashish Kumar from LLM second year. Today is my presentation on the case of prosecutor versus Guran Jalishi. <clears throat> the detail of the case uh, is given in the PPT. The case was trial in the court of ICTY, International Criminal Tri Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia Appeals Chamber. Case number is IT 95 10A, decision of uh, date 5 July 2001. Parties <coughs> in that case is pro prosecutor and second party is Guran Jalisi. Category of crime is against humanity, genocide and war crimes. The five judges are in the case or presiding judge is Mohammed Sabuddin and four others. The introduction of the case. The case of prosecutor versus Guran Jalisi is also known as Bijel Jina Masker case. Guran Jalik is also known as the Serb Adolf was a self proclaimed paramilitary leader. The case involves the trial of Guran Jalik as a Bosnian Serb paramilitary by ICTY. Guran Jalik was accused of committing war crimes against the humanity and genocide, genocide during the Bosnian war. Background of the case the Bosnian war took place from 1992 to 1995. Following the breakup of Yugoslavia, Goran Jelisic was a member of Bosnian Serb paramilitary group known as White Eagles. The war witnessed the widespread atrocities, including ethnic cleansing and the mass killing. Charges on the Goran Jelisic were charged with multiple counts of crime, crimes against humanity, and genocide. The charges included murder, torture, persecution, and other human, inhuman acts. Crime committed by Guran Jelisic. Guran Jelisic was accused of participating in the killing of numerous Bosnian Croats and Bosniaks, uh, Bosnian Muslim during the war. He was alleged to personally execute and torture prisoners, often targeting civilians. Trial proceeding. The trial took place in the International Tribunal, uh, Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia ICTY in The Hague. The prosecution presented evidence including witness testimonies, document, forensic report to establish Jelisic's involvement in the Crimes. Plea agreement by Guran Jelisic. During the trial, Jelisic changed his plea to guilty on counts 1 to 8 of the indictment, which included charges of crime against inhumanity, willful killing, torture, and inhuman acts. He maintained his not guilty plea on the remaining counts. Verdict and sentencing. In December 1999, Guran Jelisic was found guilty by the ICTY in the multiple counts of war crimes and crime against humanity. He was acquitted of the charge of genocide. Jelisic was sentenced to 40 years of imprisonment. On December 5, 2001, ICTY trial chamber sentenced Jelisic to 40 years of the imprisonment. The chamber found him guilty of eight counts including crime against inhumanity, willful killing and torture. Appeal. Uh, both Jelisic and uh, prosecution appealed in the trial chamber's judgment. In December 1991, trial chamber of the International uh, Criminal Tribunal of the former Yugoslavia found jealousy guilty of the multiple counts of the crime against humanity and violation of the law of custom of the war. He was convicted for the murder, torture, prosecution of Bosnian Muslim and non serbs However, on July 5, 2003, ICTY appeals chamber upheld the conviction but reduced the jealousy sentence to 35 years of imprisonment. Imprisonment. Jelisic served his sentence in several different prisons. However, on June 4, 2015, he was granted earlier release by ICTY's president after serving approximately two thirds of the sentence, considering his good behavior and the fact that, that he had completed various educational programs while in prison. Legal significance of the case. The trial of Guran Jelisic was one of the yearly cases conducted by the ICTY, marking the tribunal's effort to hold the individuals accountable for the war crimes committed during the Bosnian war. The case highlighted the gravity of the crimes committed during the war and the need of the international justice. Impact The trial of Goran Jelisic contributed to the process of the transitional justice in the former Yugoslavia. It is sentenced a message that individuals responsible for war crimes would be prosecuted and held, held accountable. Legacy of the case, the trial of the conviction of the Goran Jelisic set a precedent, precedent for a subsequent trials of, at the ICTY and 
other international criminal tribunals. It played, played a significant role in shaping the international just, uh, jurisprudence on war crimes and crime against humanity. The critical appraisal of that case, the strength of the case, the trial chambers relied on substantial evidence, including witness testimonies and documentary evidence to establish jealousy direct involvement in the commission of the crimes. The court's judgment highlighted the gravity and systematic nature of the crimes committed during the Bosnian war, contributing to recognizing the uh, condemning such atrocities. The trial and subsequent convictions served as a form of justice for the victims and their families, providing a sense of accountability for the crimes committed. Weakness of this case, some critics argue that the trial failed to fully explore the border context and underlying cause of Bosnian war, focusing primarily on the actions of jealousy as an individual without delving into the wider political, social and historical factors at play. The defense attempt to challenge credibility of prosecution witness raises concern about the reliability of witness testimonies and potential of bias of or inconsistencies. The sentencing handed by the uh, trial chamber, 14, 40 years of imprisonment have been criticized by some other considering the uh, gravity of the crimes and the lasting impact of the victims. Thank you.